Gradient correction applies an automatic correction of additive gradients that works well with default parameter values in most cases. In this image, it manages to reduce the gradients at the edges of the image. If we want an even better correction, we can activate automatic convergence. With this feature enabled, the process iterates until it estimates that no significant gradients are left to correct. The algorithms we have implemented in this tool are very respectful of the diffuse and faint objects in our images. Proof of this is that by removing structures of up to 16 pixels with a multiscale median transform, we can see that the diffuse nebulae in H alpha have survived the gradient correction process. In this other image, the green gradient in the lower area and the dark area in the upper part of the image are corrected with the default parameters. At the same time, all the dark nebulae are preserved. This image, on the other hand, has red lower corners and a greener sky background to the right. If we apply the default parameters, the correction is quite accurate. But it is even better if automatic convergence is activated. Here without convergence, and here with convergence. In this other example, the right portion of the image is greenish and the area on the left is very dark. The green tones are very well distinguished inside the dark nebulae. In this case, with the default parameters and automatic convergence, gradient correction corrects the green area on the right and the dark area on the left. It also manages to preserve all the weak H-alpha nebulae. As we can see, the default parameter values of this tool have been carefully defined to offer optimal gradient correction in the vast majority of cases. When applied to this image, it corrects the existing diagonal gradient. In some cases, we'll need to neutralize the sky background again after applying the gradient correction. We can do this with background neutralization, establishing the background area of the reference sky. If we compare from the History Explorer, we can see it has corrected the gradient to the lower left part of the image. Structure protection is only convenient when we have very bright and extensive objects in the image. Here, we are going to turn it off. With the default parameters, it corrects the gradients but leaves a very flat image. These gradients are very smooth, so, in this case, we can increase the scale and smoothness of the gradient model. This way, we correct the gradients and manage to preserve the larger scale structures of the nebulae. This is particularly noticeable in this corner, or in some of the dark nebulae in the image. Gradient correction offers a very stable algorithmic solution. This is demonstrated by the fact that it leaves the image in its original state when there are no gradients. In this image, which is the one available in the narrowband knowledge capsule, the correction illuminates the Gulf of Mexico just a little. 
This small overcorrection can be avoided by simply increasing the scale and smoothness parameters.